Hello. Today we're going to talk about a new method of rubric grading um, that you can do in your classroom. I know a lot of people up to this point have been using something like uh, Gubric or maybe Orange Slice in order to incorporate rubric grading within their Google documents. I'm going to show you a, a new different way that some people have tested out and found it to be faster and more simple to do than using those add-ons. And it's something that's been enabled with the new update to the classroom grading tool that happened over the summer of 2018. So here I am in one of my classroom classes, and I'm gonna go ahead and create an assignment. And this is going to be for a paper because papers are typically uh, one of the most common things that people do rubric grading for. So we're just going to give it a very generic name, like paper one, and these are going to be my instructions. And for right now, um, we'll just leave this ungraded, and we will put a due date of tomorrow on it. And I'll put it under my beginning of the year topic. These are all just kind of good techniques to use when you're creating a new assignment in Classroom. So the key to this method is that you are going to attach your rubric in the form of a Google Doc onto any assignment that you push out to your kids. So here I've got a sample rubric, and I'm going to push this out so that it makes a copy for every student. Now, in this case, for this paper, um, in my instructions, I would be telling the kids that they are going to create a document from the assignment or create it outside and then attach it to the assignment. So the only thing I'm really making a copy of for every student is the rubric itself. But a lot of people will actually uh, push out some sort of a document to their kids as a template, even if they're working on a paper. But in this case, the rubric's all I'm going to push. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that. Now, the student's not going to do anything with the rubric itself. Um, they can obviously look at it if they want to, um, and that's a good strategy no matter what. But they're not going to fill it out or do any work with it. So here we have uh, the same class on the student side of things. And we'll see now we have this assignment into here. I'm going to open this up and view the assignment. And as a student, I'm going to see that the sample rubric is sitting here, and I can open that and look at it if I want to. Um, and now I'm going to actually create a document within here, and that's going to serve as my paper that I'm going to be turning in. So we'll create that, we'll open it up, and we'll just put in a little basic information here. Okay. So student fills out their work, um, and they go ahead and they turn it in. It's going to turn in both their paper and the sample rubric because that was part of the assignment. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Okay, now I'm going to flip back over to the teacher side of things. And we'll see that one of these has already been turned in. And I have the rubric and the paper for the student. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And in our new classroom grading tool, the key to this whole process is that now you can very quickly flip-flop between all documents that have been submitted. So that means that what I can do here is I can read the student's paper. And of course, I can... Uh, add comments, I can remove things, I can do whatever I would normally do in one of these papers, but when I get to a point where I feel like um, I can put in some comments related to the rubric or assign a score for one of my criteria in the rubric, I can quickly flip over to the rubric. It's going to pull that up. I can put in my comments off to the side. I can take one of these, uh, one of these cells and I can go ahead and highlight it if I want to. And then I can flip back to the paper and get back to reading. So this method allows you to not have to work with any extensions. You don't have to work with any add-ons. Um, you don't have to come up with any complicated 
rubrics and then uh, make sure they're in a certain format and use them in orange slice. Instead, you just use the rubric that you already have as a Google Doc, attach it for every student, and then as you grade, you just flip-flop between the two. And a another advantage to this over doing something like Orange Slice or Gubrick is that if you don't just have like a submitted Google Doc paper, um, let's say you had students submit a video file or a PDF or any other thing you can think of, you can click on that video right here, watch it, and then flip back to the rubric and grade. So you can't do that in something like Orange Slice or any of these other add-ons and extensions that are out there. So I encourage you to take a look at this style of rubric grading. Um, I think it can definitely speed up your grading workflow. And if you are new to rubric grading in Google, this is a great place to start because you don't have to learn any of the little nuances of Orange Slice or Gubric and how to set all of those up. Thanks for watching.